Welcome back to my channel. Um, today I did well. First off, let me say Charlie 1990 for those of you who aren't familiar. Welcome for those of you who've been there with me and you're just returning, you're a returning visitor. Hey girl, or oh, hey boy. <laughs> um, follow me on social media, Charlie 1990 on Snapchat and Twitter, Charlie 1990 Makeup on Facebook and Instagram. Um, like, comment, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified every time I post videos. Today, I'm beginning to give you guys Valentine's Day looks. I did this very fun, can you guys see the little hearts? Isn't that so cute? I did this very fun cut crease today. Um, yeah, I'm not going to ramble too much because I have to go outside and get some pictures before I lose daylight. And um, if you guys want to see how I completed this look, then stay tuned. I know we could have dogs over here. People just walking their big ass dog. Hey, dog. Shit. I'm going to take this Morphe Fluidity Concealer, and this is in CO.00. This is the lightest shade they have. And I'm gonna put, I'm gonna actually put it on the back of my hand. Cause I don't want anything to interfere with how white this is. So I'm just gonna work with some from the back of my hand. And I'm going to take that I gotta stop talking to y'all with the back of my hand. And I'm gonna take, see, I put it on the back of my hand. I'm gonna pick it up with this AOA Studio E107 brush. Now, this brush isn't dirty, it's just stained. Like, that's the only thing I hate about brushes with light colored or white handles. Sometimes they get stained and you can't get those stains off. I've tried alcohol, I've tried witch hazel, I've tried peroxide. I've tried regular dish detergent and water and nothing seems to be getting those stains off. So just a disclaimer, I don't want y'all to be like, she's using a dirty brush, see how pretty and clean the bristles are? It's just the handle on the brush is stained. Not taking it up too high. Today's look is gonna be fairly simple. Um, I wanted to do something bold out the gate for Valentine's Day. And then I'll give you guys more neutral looks. And I want to start earlier than I started last year because I feel like I only had time to do one Valentine's Day tutorial last year. And I was very disappointed in myself with that because I really could have gave y'all more. Like I could have gave y'all a lot more. And then brushes. This is the Morphe M433 brush. It's a fluffy blending brush. Yo no say. Okay, so I'm gonna take the Queen palette from Fumi and Juvia's Place collab, and I'm going into seven, which is this bright, bright pink color right here. And we're gonna pick that up with the M433 brush, and we're gonna pat that right where we put that white. I'm going to this Juvia's Place Zulu palette and pick up this purple down here. On this Morphe M507 brush, it's just like a detailer brush. So I'm gonna take this Morphe 35M Boss Mood palette and I'm going in with Ooh, I don't even know what this girl name. Is this Transformer? I believe this is Transformer. It's this dark purple, almost black color all the way down at the bottom. Deep, 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 deep purple color. And 
And we're just gonna focus it right below that purple on the outer corner. So I'm just taking this flat brush that I customized. And pick that up on the back of, from the back of my hand. So then you get something like that. Okay, so then I'm gonna go into this Be A Bombshell glitter palette. This is the palette I got from Five Below. I'm gonna take this purple shimmer shade down here and put that all over my lid. It's like a purple pink color. I'm picking that up on a Morphe M421 brush. It's just like a flat brush. Put that all over my lid. I'm trying to hurry up before I lose daylight because I really feel like once the sun gets to a certain point in the sky, I can't do that whole back camera thing. Try and prove that I fucking slayed. I'm going to take this Morphe M321 brush. This is what I had transformer on. And I'm just going to blend out those edges like that. This is really pretty by itself. You could leave it like this, but we're going to take it to the next level. So I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I'll come back. I'm going to take a crayon case makeup wipe and just clean up the edges real quick like that so we're gonna take y'all already know the vibes we're gonna take the wet and wild mega liner and black and draw wings Actually, I'm not doing a wing today. I'm going to do this, what I've been doing. Every now and then you'll see me do a wing. But I really just like doing this. This is just like so simple. It's sultry. It's not as complicated as a wing. It's easy as flip to do. So pretty. This is really pretty like this. Like, I could wear this to work. Okay, excuse me. This is just for me to mix my glitters on. I'm going to take, in order of majority, I'm going to take this Magic Collection Fuchsia Glitter. This is a fine glitter. Oh, a lot. I didn't mean to put that much, but okay. Then I'm going to take this NYX glitter, and this is in Crystal. It's their silver glitter. A little bit. This going to be a really pretty mix. I'm hoping this is my first time doing this. Then I'm going to take this Blitzy, Bitsy Nail and Body Glitter, and this is in La La Lavender. And just a dash of this, you guys, because we only want that purple to come through very subtly. It's like a nice purple shimmer with a little bit of silver mixed in. Sun's perfect right now for that camera. Then I'm going to take the brush that I'm going to be mixing, putting the glitter on with, and I'm going to take the end of it and just mix, mix all those glitters together to get a nice good mix on them. And this is just a brush I got from Michael's Arts and Crafts. It's just a regular brush. 
I don't know what kind of brush it is. I can show you the how it looks again. So any brush that looks like this, any brush you want to use to pick up glitter, feel free. Um, um, now, why do I keep doing that? I'm now going to take my NYX glitter primer and put a little bit on the back of my hand. Put a decent amount on the back of my hand because I have two glitters I'm working with today. I'm putting down a fine glitter first and then I'm going to do a chunky glitter. Why is that chunky like that? Was it just weird to me or was it weird to you guys too? Put that all over my lid. Now, we have this chunky glitter that I thought would be very fun, especially for Valentine's Day. I don't know if you guys can tell on camera, but it's a bunch of little hearts. And I thought that would be so cute to use for Valentine's Day. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up a little bit more of the glitter primer. And this is already pretty like this. You could leave it like this if you want, but I'm doing extra today. This week's lashes will be featuring um, some local lashes. These are the T-Station lashes and Karma. Normally, y'all already know I don't do lashes like this. Like, these look dramatic as... But, I mean, it's 2020. We gotta get out of the show. I've never done chunky glitter before. Look at me doing chunky glitter. So, why not try some lashes? If I like them, I like them. If I don't, then I'll never wear them again. So these are, this is my favorite lash adhesive. This is the, um, I don't even know what the hell y'all saw cause the damn camera cut off. And lashes, it came with this little spoolie. These are in the style Karma. I don't never wear no shit long like this so I hope y'all can appreciate me stepping out of my comfort zone because these are giving me punk vibes like very dramatic the packaging is cute as fuck but I wish she had some more natural styles I can't wear these <laughs> I cannot wear these I have to give them away in a giveaway I cannot wear these these are big as fuck we're gonna try the eyelash part again i'm actually gonna take i don't know if i'm gonna do these either i mean i'm already sitting down but i could get back up but then it's like are we gonna keep wasting time and we're losing daylight but these are definitely better than what i just had on my eyes i cannot wear those I can't. I just, there's just no way I'm gonna wear those. That is too fucking much for me. So I'm gonna take these EBS Fashion Lashes, and y'all already know I've been using these a lot lately. Um, those are in the number 42. And I'm gonna put some more lash glue on and pop those on, and I'll be right back. Okay, now we're gonna take a break from the eyes. I'm gonna dive into the rest of the face. This Pond's Dry Skin Cream. NYX Bear With Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. I'm going to take this e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. That's it for a little bit. Maybelline 
matte and poreless foundation and this is in 338 spicy brown take this aoa studio f7 brush and we're just using this brush to put it down don't get it twisted And we're gonna pick up our Sonia Kashik sponge, which is huge, by the way. This is one of the biggest beauty blenders I've seen. I feel like that beauty blender was a little stiff. I'm gonna take my Papa sponge and go over that as well. Take this LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn. Anastasia. Beverly Hills Foundation Stick and Espresso. We use that to cream contour. This AOA Studio F14 brush. So then I'm going to take this MAC mineralized skin foundation in medium dark take my beauty sponge pick some up then tap off the excess on the back of my hand and press that into the concealer portion of my face then i'm gonna take this maybelline fit me in medium deep this is a loose finishing powder Okay, now I'm going to take my NYX Highlight and Contour Pro Palette, MF14 brush. I'm going to pick up tan and set our contour. Going back into that Queen Palette from Fumi and Juvia's Place. And I'm going to take my favorite blush. Y'all already know the sister to sister is like the best, if not one of the best blushes I have ever come across. It's just like the perfect universal blush. Like, sis is just a vibe, you know? Take this Maybelline Master Chrome Molten Gold Highlighter. I'm going to take this e.l.f. highlighter brush, sweep it across like that. She is a little stiff, like, hold on now. I'm taking this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil and Black Bean. This e.l.f. smudge brush, which she's been through a lot. Same pink from the Queen palette, the 7 that we started off with. Pick that up, tap off the excess. I'm gonna take the Festival palette from Juvia's Place. She is corrupted. And I'm gonna take this e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm gonna pick up Oak Dagu, which is this gold champagne color down here at the bottom. That's gonna be our brow bone highlight. gonna take Uli which is this champagne white color up here champagne white shimmer color up at the top and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner this Ulta Beauty Ultimate Lashes Mascara and put two coats on my bottom lashes and I'm going to take my NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray And my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. Press that in with my beauty sponge. This is my Ruby Kisses Auto Lip Liner in dark brown. I'm gonna take this NYX Butter Gloss. This is an apple strudel.
And I'm gonna take this Broadway Vita Lip Argan Oil Lip Gloss. This is the completed look. I'm um, pretty happy with how everything turned out. I just have on this red kimono slash robe I got from Victoria's Secret. I'm not gonna show y'all too much like I did last year. Had all my titties out on YouTube. But um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. I love the little hearts on my eyes. I think those are the cut crease. I mean, the crease in on my eye just now. I love the little hearts under my eyes. I think those are adorable. And, um, yeah. Um, as always, thank you guys for watching. Follow me on social media, Shiley1990 on Snapchat and Twitter, Shiley1990 Makeup on Facebook and Instagram. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell to be notified every time I post videos. And, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.